All right, the spray off is now complete. Got rid of all of the fine little particles that get embedded into paint. The Seaquartz UK 3.0 ceramic paint protection system. Hello folks, welcome to Net Cruiser Cars. I've been working on my Golf R, getting it detailed. So first steps, what I've done so far is I did try my new car soap, Car Pro Reset, and I used it as a snow foam and a car wash. So I used it with my chemical guys pump sprayer to uh, to snow foam and then after washing it with the hand wash then I went over it with eraser this one is a gets rid of the oil film so now the car is very clean it has been sitting outside overnight but overall it's pretty good so I've just taken all of the water off of it so the only thing that this has had so far has been wash eraser and, uh, and now the next step is going to be decontaminate the paint a couple of things with having a white vehicle is you get these little iron filing spots these type of things right here, these little orange flecks, those are iron filings. And so you notice them heavily on white cars, you wanna try and get that off. So I'm gonna use a chemical iron remover right now. I'm gonna spray the whole car down, let it all dissolve all the iron filings, then rinse it off, and then I'm gonna go back with the clay bar. And that's the decontaminate step. And then after decontamination, then it will start to be, uh, I think I'm almost ready to start the DA polish. But even though this is brand new factory paint and it's only ever had one hand wash so far, there are a couple of swirl marks in the hood that I'm gonna try and buff out before I ceramic coat this thing. Let's magma it up. And then the last video that I did about this, some people had some comments saying that I was rubbing on the paint and that you shouldn't. It literally says on the bottle to do that. It says that after you spray it, then wait three to five minutes and then take a soft damp sponge or wash mitt and wipe it off before you rinse it. So you're supposed to wipe the dissolved iron particles off. You're not gonna hurt the paint because they're all dissolved. That used to be a hard iron filing. Now it's all been dissolved. You should just be able to wipe it away. So your GTI had no results like this? No, this is significantly more iron embedded in than my GTI had. But you clayed your GTI. I had clayed my, yes. It. So this one's never been clayed before. Look, look at that big dangler. But look at the, the front wheels. That's, that's magma. That's all brake. <laughs> no, yeah, it's all iron filings from the brakes. Pretty cool. So I'm using auto glime magma, or you can get iron X. I guess you could agitate it, but it looks I like... I forgot it. that I should. It says use it on the windows, but last time I used it on windows, it did that horrible nastiness, and I shouldn't have oh. done it. No, you shouldn't have done it. Okay, so now I've just done the wipe down, the mitt wipe down with the iron remover, and so now it's partially been cleaned, but now I'm going to blast it off with my newest tool, which is this pretty cool thing. This is the Works... Hydro Shot, it is a battery powered pressure washer that runs off of bucket water or any kind of non-pressured water. So this becomes the water pump and the sprayer all in one. So now I can, now I can pressure wash off the car. And that will finish the chemical decontamination and then we'll move on to clay bar. All right, the spray off is now complete. So now we're ready for mechanical decontamination with clay bar, but here's all the iron that I got out of the car. It's all on the ground now. And the white is looking a little bit whiter, but still, even with that chemical still residual left, you'll also get some runoff from some points for a while. We've got many more steps to do before it's done, so this is just not even halfway there. Now we're on to mechanical decontamination. So this is a clay bar, brand new clay bar to package, and I'm using some car soap as lubrication. So you always want to keep it, keep the surface of your uh, panel very wet, and then you just rub the clay on it, and it picks up all of the embedded particles out of the paint. Now we're gonna do pretty much the whole car with that. Just kind of check your areas first. It's, a, it's pretty damn good after the chemical decontamination. All right, the car has now been mechanically decontaminated. So we used these two pieces of clay and lubricated the whole car and rubbed over the, all of the paint and got rid of all of the fine little particles that get embedded into paint. So now we're on to the next step, which should be uh, polishing. All right, here we go. DA polisher, I've got the pad ready to go. So it says you put it on the paint. And you choose a section, you start it on one. Very light section. Sure, why wouldn't I do that to the whole thing? Might as well at this point. You go get your Lyco bag. No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna buy I'll get it back at G6. Oh, I'll have to remind him. All right, man, have a good one. Good luck. Looking good. Yeah, man. Good.
anyway, just gonna keep doing the whole car like that. All right, the hood is now done, and now that might be a placebo effect, but it does look definitely cleaner and shinier with a very light polish. I was doing it on speed two, lightest pad, lightest compound, speed two, very light buff of the hood. Looks great. I have to then erase off the polish residue before I can ceramic coat. All right, the polishing step is now complete. That went very easy. It would be lightest kind of polish possible, and I did polish the whole car. So it looks like it's threatening the storm right now, but overall the car did buff up even nicer than it was before. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. So now I need to use the eraser on it, and then you strip off all of the polish, and then it's ready for ceramic coat. All right, this is it. It's time for the final step now. This is the C-Quartz UK 3.0 ceramic paint protection system. You get a bunch of these little suede applicators. You're supposed to take this foam block, and it has some softer foam on it. You wrap the suede around it, two lines of ceramic coating, go on that, and then you do crosshatch pattern in two by two sections. Let haze and then buff off with a clean microfiber. And that would be that section done. And then you move on to the next. And since you're working with ceramic coating, anything you're using to wipe it off, to buff it off, or to apply it, the suede applicators do need to be thrown away afterwards. You never want to retouch your paint with the used ceramic coating applicator because it does harden. That's the next step. We're going to ceramic coat this car and hopefully it's worth it. That's it, here we go. First ceramic coat application. And then I just have to wait for it to flash and then you buff. I don't think you're gonna be able to see much on here and lighting's not great. All right, the ceramic coating is complete and uh, I just wanted to show you what I used. So I did go through about I go through about a quarter of the 50 mil bottle of C quartz. I did buy a 50 mil because I have multiple cars and I'm going to do my wife's car as well. If you use a lot, it's one coat in each car. You should be able to do two cars, two coats with this. So seems like that's about appropriate. And here's all the things that I now have to throw away. So the, the, the buff off rag needs to go in the garbage because once you buff off the ceramic coating, it can't be used again. The applicator pads, I did use two applicator pads, one for each side of the car. So this is kind of how it came off after each side of the car. And then after the whole car was done, I did the wheels. And that's why this one's dirtier. So I have also ceramic, co ceramic coated my wheels. Then I will um, use, more, uh, use more of these applicator wipes and you keep the block and you use more of the coating and I believe this coating is supposed to be you should use it all from when you open it within three months so that means I got to do all the other cars within three months so here it is this is my first coated car this now has one application of C quartz UK 3.0 it did enhance the gloss quite a bit and now I do have to keep it parked inside for at least 24 ideally 48 hours because you should not get any water on it uh, don't get any water spots on your freshly applied ceramic coating. Now I have to let the car stay in here and cure. And then after it's cured, the topper that I'm going to go with is bead maker. I'm going to use that as a top coat, um, but I have to wait for this to cure first. So I got to wait a one or two days and then I could drive this just with ceramic coating. But if you want to ha have an additional layer of protection and shine, you can add something like bead maker uh, for that. So this will be my top coat. It's hard to tell in the garage how good it is, but it did just add that little extra level of shine that I didn't have before. It's pretty darn good. Here's a good shot of how shiny it is right there. So in order to get these results, this was a multi-step affair, almost, well, a full day's worth of labor probably to get it to this point where it has been coated once. So what was done to the car to get it to this point? First of all, it was a snow foam wash then a hand wash, then an eraser. Uh, that's like an IPA based solution that gets rid of oil, uh, road film and oils. Then we slept overnight. The next morning we got up and then we did a iron based contamination. So I did magma, autoglime magma, or you can get iron X, removed all the iron. And then we did a clay bar and then we did a polish. And then we did an erase to get rid of all the residue from those things. And then I ceramic coated it. And so that's where we're at right now. 
I could have done a much more aggressive polish to get rid of all types of orange peel, but I didn't do that. I did like the lightest polish possible, just enough to get rid of any kind of swirls that, I, that occurred over the winter. So it is better to have some of those bumps and valleys in your paint, because uh, it does give you more material to work with long term. The car's brand new pretty much, it only has 6,000 kilometers on it, so I gave it a very, very light polishing before its first ceramic coat. All right, it's now been approximately 36 hours since I ceramic coated the car and it's not supposed to rain today. It's actually a beautiful day, so I'm gonna pull it outside and let it uh, cure in the sun for the last few hours before I go drive it today. So this will be the first time we're gonna see it pull out into the sunshine with the new ceramic coating. Looking pretty good. It still feels a little grabby to me. It is, it is smoother than before. It's got a very, very light layer of dust on it from just sitting in the garage overnight. But overall, first coat, ceramic coating complete. Now it would have been ideal to actually get two coats of ceramic on it, but I just didn't have the time to do that yesterday. So it's only got one, but I'm also gonna use toppers on it and maintain it. So I might do another coat later, like in a week or so, I might do another coat, but I'm also gonna try that new bead maker stuff as well. I've even ceramic coated this, but I did not polish these, so there's very slight swirls, but overall the hood looks excellent. Really good, actually. I think any of the fine micro scratches that I did see in this area have been removed, because I certainly can't see them now. Alrighty guys, so I think we're gonna end it there. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you wanna talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. I will do some follow-up videos about the ceramic coating. I do wanna wait uh, like a full week before I actually start throwing like dirt and water at it to see how it beads. And then whatever kind of top coating and maintenance products I'm gonna do to maintain the ceramic coating. We will show you videos about that. All right guys, thanks for watching. This now has one application of C-Quartz UK 3.0. It did enhance the gloss quite a bit. And now I do have to keep it parked inside for at least 24, ideally 48 hours, because you should not get any water on it.